Celtics stuff. And I told you before the show, y'all watching, buckle up. Because I told Kobe before the show, I'm like, I'm going to rant about these guys. I watched that game against the Hawks, and I saw them blow a 30-point lead. I've been saying the regular season frauds and come postseason time, you're going to see what's going to happen. And I'm going to go off. First off, you have a 30-point lead. I get it, right? There are, like, times in the NBA, or there's it's a time in the NBA where a 20-point lead isn't the same thing as it was 10 years ago, five years ago. Because of the three point shot, but it's no damn reason why you're losing to the Hawks down 30 and they don't even have Trey Young. It's unacceptable. I could see if it's December, I could see if it's January, I could see if it's earlier on the season. We're literally less than a month into the postseason. And what does this team do? They chuck up threes. And they play ISO ball in the end. So if they're not beating teams, blowing them out because they shoot such a high percentage from three, if it gets to a close game, do I trust Jason Tatum to take me there? Do I trust Jalen Brown to get me to the promised land? Hell no. Hell no. I got to believe it till I see it because I simply – have not seen it. I saw Tatum do it against the Sixers that have two playoff chokers and James Harden and Joel Embiid. So I'll give you that. Now, people that said, well, they lost to an all-time great player in Steph Curry and the Warriors in the finals. All right, I'll give you that. But since then, what has this team showed me that they're different? They're different. They're actually worse because Ime Udoka is 10 times better the coach that Joe Mazzulla is. Joe Missoula sucks. I said, I said Kim Mulkey can't coach. Joe Missoula cannot coach, bro. What's his formula? Just chuck up threes. If they're not making threes, they like it, it gets me so mad because there is not a team in the league that is as talented as the Celtics that plays the way they play. And my last point before I give it to you, you're in a close game. Less than six minutes left. Do you trust Tatum and Brown or Giannis or Dame? I'm taking Giannis or Dame every time. Giannis is a champion. Damian Lillard multiple times in multiple postseasons has hit series, not just a buzzer beater, not just win a game, Win a freaking series. Game is that guy. So sleep on the Celtics as much as you want. Sleep on the Heat as much as you want. But any of those teams, if it's a close game and it's going to be close series in the playoffs, you're not going to be blowing teams out like you are now. It's going to be close games. I'm picking the Bucks and the Heat over the Celtics any day of the week. And last night, Prove my point that the Celtics are ready for prime time. I'm I'm gonna hand it off to you. Yeah, I <laughs> you passionate about that thing. I like that. Passionate about that, John. And last thing, people be saying, oh, well, what about your Sixers? I know they not nothing, but the Celtics swear they something. I'm like, bro, you won one chip this century. Most of y'all chips. Y'all by the time the Lakers, you would like this because you're a Lakers fan. They they have what 17 chips or 16 chips as much as the Lakers, but they got all of their chips basically with Bill Russell, and it was an eight-team league, eight-team league. It was all real. There's all Mickey Mouse chips. What good ring is this milky Mickey Mouse chips? The only real great seasons y'all had was with Larry Bird back in the 80s, back when crack was booming. So I'm off. I'm off it, bro. <laughs> I got you. Got it, bro. I don't disagree with you. I just I just disagree with some of the things that you said. Um, one, you said this isn't December. This isn't early in the season. This isn't one of the like. I actually, I actually am not worried about them losing in March because, like, I, I, I just I believe that complacency is a real thing, and them 
the lead that they have in first place right now is is utterly ridiculous. Like they, there's nobody catching them. They know there's nobody catching them. Them losing in, in at the end of March like doesn't bother me as much as I think it bothers you. Like you, you, you seem to like if this was happening in December, if this was happening at the beginning of the season, that's when I would be like, hey, y'all kind of, y'all kind of, y'all kind of trash. Like that's kind of crazy. Not the beginning of the season, but if this was happening in December, like in the heart of the race, like then sure, but. There, I think there's a complacency stat like like that the, the, they have going on. But um, let me give you let me give you some let me give you some numbers. They blow an 11, 11 point lead to the Sixers, 18 to the Hornets, 12 to the Magic. Now, all of those, I know that we, you know, 20 point leads aren't the same anymore, and all of those leads are under 20 points. But the Sixers, Hornets, and Magic, like those are teams that you should be blowing out. I don't know why you're blowing leads to them, let alone not blowing them out, right? 17 to the Warriors, 22 to the Cavs, and 30 last night to the Hawks without Trey Young. Now I get Drew Holiday and Derek White didn't play, but damn, like, come on, we got to do something. Like, something's got to be better. And their first play, their, their top 10, I believe, in, in pace in the first quarter, and then their second to last in the fourth quarter, which lets me know that they have a lot of leads. They, they bring in a lot of leads to the fourth quarter, and they just stop playing. They just stop playing. I don't know what that is. Where they where they had this ISO ball thing that they do at the end of the game, and it's like, all right, Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum going back and forth. Like, okay, it's your turn, Jason. It's your turn, Jalen. Like, I don't know what it is that they have going on, but it seems to me that when they don't have Drew Holiday and Derek White running that offense, Mm -hmm. there's they're they're horrible. And and it's because it's because Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum are wing players. Which means they play from the wing, and their whole their whole game is to is to is to chuck up threes and try to get to the basket. Try to. Let me ask you this though: with Tatum, I mean, you mentioned him. If Tatum was really in contention for the face of the league, where the criticism at? Where is it at? If it was Giannis, it'd be raising hell. Luca yeah. raising hell. I feel like when the Celtics don't do well, it's like, oh well, I don't, I don't expect. You feel me? Like, I'll give you an example. Like Brock Purdy, some people try to say that he's an elite QB. I'm not saying that he's a very good quarterback, but like, what was he really blamed for the loss, or was he blamed for certain stuff? He's not because people don't expect that much of him. I feel like the same way with Jason Tatum. It's like. You can say he's elite, but until he really gets that criticism after major losses, that's the sign that you're gonna be the face of the league. Like you feel me? I'm saying, like, yeah, but I I, gotta say to go with the bat. I think you, but I think you, I think you missing what a lot of this is. Jason Tatum is still like 26, 25, something like that. He's like 25, 26, and he's like the he's 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 winning a lot. He hasn't the only thing he hasn't done at this point up to this point is win a championship. So you're talking about criticism, but what like what criticism do you need him to have? Like, where do you critique Jason Jason Tatum at? In what I facet do you like, critique Jason, he's Jason Tatum? Point, he's at that point where it's like it's he's past the whole you're so great. You're amazing. Like, that's where Wemby's at right now. He's got some time, but he's only a rookie. But that's where Wemby's at. I think that's where Shy is at. Like, if they get bounced out early in the playoffs, people are going to be like, hey, he just got here. I think Luke is getting to that to where it's like, all right, buddy, what you about to do in the playoffs, yo? What you about to do in the playoffs? I think, who else? Who else is a young guy? I, no, Zion, he's gotten from, all right, you're a good player. Now let's see what you do in the postseason. Let's see you get healthy. So, like, it's like phases that, like, certain players are in. And this is the phase that Tatum is in. It's like, but, I don't but, care but if you see, win 60 games. But Jason I don't Tatum care if has done more than all of them. Where did Chip at? But Jason Tatum has done more than all of them. Combined. 